Hey everybody, welcome back to A Wild Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? Before I officially start this review, I just want to say the month of March is Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. So please don't forget to wear your green this month. Today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest film, Spencer Confidential. You got two grown men running around playing Batman. Rob it. <laughs> And Alfred over here. Go for me, Alfred. Hey. Special Confidential is a rated R. It's 111 minutes long. Was released on Netflix March the 6th. It is directed by Peter Berg. And this is actually Peter Berg's and Mark Wahlberg's fifth movie together. Now. I could say this is not the absolute worst movie that they've done together, but it's kind of further down there, but it's not to say that it's bad. It's just that the other three, which are Lone Survivor, um, Deepwater Horizon, and then I would put Patriot's Day, then I would put this one, then like Mile 22 would be like way down the line. I mean, I do love me some Marky Mark, don't get me wrong, and in this movie he was trying to put in his action self with his comedic self and it just kind of fell a little bit short for me um but but i was still entertained i don't really feel like this movie was trying to be this great thing i feel like it knew what it was trying to do I really wasn't uh believing the chemistry between mark Wahlberg and winston duke alan arkin i love alan arkin why he's in this movie i really don't know um but i mean he might be the best thing out of the movie to be honest with you i'm thinking like this video if you agree with this but i feel like mark was miscast in this i really do i just i don't really feel like he was the right spencer like i i feel like somebody else could have done a better job. It may have actually made the movie work a little bit more. Um, this is based off of a, loosely off of a book called Wonderland. And then I think that book was also done into some other kind of like TV, like 80s movie, not movie, TV series called Spencer something. Spencer for Hire? I think that's what it was called. Oh, Post Malone is in this movie too. He has like, he has a, 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 like two cameos and he has a pretty good good scene. This was actually his acting debut and quite honestly, I am very, very impressed. He did a great job. For I just want to say that, you know, Pose has a really good career if he wants to pursue acting or just even like just to come out in cameos. I'm going to say one thing that is just like a spoiler, I don't know, but I guess depending on how the movie does or even... If the movie does well or not, you know, because who cares? You want to do a sequel, you'll do a sequel regardless of what the public may or may not want, right? Um, but the way that the movie ends, it is set up for a sequel. I honestly feel like this movie could have worked in the 80s or 90s, maybe in the early 2000s, but for like 2020 no i mean thankfully it came out on netflix because i do feel like it's a good like netflix movie and compared to you know grace under fire no, is it grace under fire that grace movie tyler paris movie and then that other horrible movie about the thing he wanted with anne hathaway i mean those were like garbage this one like i said I think I said it. It's, it's very entertaining. It is entertaining. The time goes by nicely. I was never like, oh my god, like when is this movie ever going to end? I'm over you. I'm pausing you. That never happened here. I don't think it's a terrible movie. I don't think it's horrible. I feel like it's a nice movie to just kind of like unwind with, just have fun with it. When you're just having like a, I'm going to have a Netflix and chill day. I have nothing to watch. Like I feel like this is a movie that you could I definitely play and enjoy and just kind of like escape time for a little bit it's a movie that's here it exists it's on netflix i do recommend it if this would have been in theaters i would have not have recommended for you to waste your money with it but just like i said netflix have in the back of your mind when you have nothing else to watch i definitely think that this is a movie you could um with that said i'm gonna go ahead and just give it a small popcorn rating which is nothing really wrong with the small popcorn because you know you can get some sort of satisfaction with it 
I know I normally don't give an explanation, but I'm giving one with this because like I said, it's not like a terrible, terrible movie. I really don't know if I would rewatch it to be honest with you. Um, maybe, I don't know, but not anytime soon. But there's always the possibility I could. I know there's other movies that I'm like definitely would not rewatch. This one is a possibility, so you can take that as you wish. So if you've seen Spencer Confidential, what do you guys think about it? Did you like this show? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Um, which of the uh, five movies that Peter and Mark have done was your favorite? Let me know down below. And of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to get a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And of course, don't forget to wear your green the month of March to show your support for a CP. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.